What is up you guys? Welcome back to my channel and if you're new to my channel, welcome to my channel. My name is Tony Brienne and in today's video we'll be discussing the fall of Kendall Jenner. Before we get into this video, I want to give a little dedication to this bedroom that I'm in. This will probably be my very last video ever filming in this room. I've given little hints here and there, but I will be moving tomorrow to a whole nother state because I will be starting a new job and I am even going to be documenting my experiences at that job doing a separate YouTube channel. So I'm gonna update you guys once I start the position, which will be this upcoming Monday. So by the time you guys see this, I probably already started the job and I'm probably editing after getting off work. So it's insane, but I'm so excited. This room holds so many memories. I started my very first video in this room. I'm Tony, and this is my first video on my YouTube channel. Yes, Lord, it is. So I'm Tony. I'm very bubbly, very happy, <sighs> and everything you can think of. I am in the eighth grade i love 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 um filming myself doing these certain things so that's why i really want to start my youtube channel another reason why is because i like helping others um there's not a lot of african-american girls beauty guru people if there are please comment down below who they are because i really don't know any besides andrea's choice and she's white and black so She's not all black. It definitely won't be my last video filmed in this room, but it's just such a beautiful story to tell. Lots of controversial videos have been filmed in this room that I did not even know would be controversial, but to all the Kevin Samuel lovers, I'm sorry that y'all don't like me no more. <laughs> I have grown so much and it's just insane, but it's kind of bittersweet and I'm getting like kind of sad even talking about it right now, but I'm so excited for what the future holds and I just know all the blessings will come from this very big move that I am slightly terrified about, but I'm really excited and I can't wait for this next chapter. By the way guys, I also did get a haircut. This is my very first curly cut, so I cut off so much hair. Oof, I didn't cut it off, the hairstylist did, but she did a phenomenal job. I'm still getting used to it, but my hair just feels so healthy. The curls are illuminating, like my hair is just beautiful. I did not know that I even had such, like I always knew I had like good curl definition in the back, but I did not realize that my curls could look like this and I'm just hoping for more prosperous curls and more growth and I'm so excited. But you know what, besides that, I just wanna get into this video. I know there are some people that are probably watching this that don't even know who I am, so y'all probably don't care. Y'all just wanna hear what I gotta say, um, but, yeah, just wanted to give a little farewell. And for everyone that has seen all the videos in this room, thank you so much for the love and support. We are moving 35K out of this room. 35,000 subscribers have been built in this bedroom. So thank you guys so much for that. And in my next video on this channel, hopefully I'll be able to update you on what my job is and the new channel that I'm gonna be starting that is more so vlogging and day in my life. So you guys can keep up with that side of my life as well. So we are going to be continuing on with this Kardashian series. A lot of people have been saying that the Kardashians are not as popular as they once were a decade ago. And a lot of people also are coming up with different theories as to why they are no longer popular. In this video, we're gonna be honing in on the first Jenner, who is Kendall Jenner, and how many people have not been as excited about Kendall Jenner as they were when she first began to rise to fame when she started her modeling career. Now, before we get into the fall of Kendall Jenner, let's get a little bio on who Kendall Jenner is. Kendall Jenner is Kris Jenner's fourth daughter, fifth child, and first child with Caitlyn Jenner, formerly known as Bruce Jenner, when she had Kendall. Kendall Jenner was born November 3rd, 1995, making her 26 years old, soon to be 27. I did not even realize she was that old until I started filming this video. I was like, dang, like we are all getting old as dirt. Like I remember when this girl was like 15, 16. That means I probably was like, 11 I'm assuming. So Kendall Jenner is known more as the sporty sister, the sister that is into just being very chill, laid back, and that has to do with some of my points as to why people don't like her any longer, but that is one standout characteristic about her. Kendall is also a supermodel, and not only just a supermodel, the highest paid supermodel in the industry currently. So with that mini biography of who Kendall Jenner is, let's get into the fall of Kendall Jenner. Starting off with number one, Kendall never modeling. So as I stated previously, Kendall Jenner rose to fame mainly off of her modeling career. When she was a young girl, she expressed interest in modeling and Kris Jenner made it happen. Kendall? Yeah? Where are you? In the kitchen. She's so home. guess 
who just called me. Who? Wilhelmina Modeling Agency. They would love to have a meeting with you. You're kidding. I spent the last two days calling everybody I know so I can make sure that I set Kendall up with the best modeling agency possible. This is actually a really big deal. I'm so surprised this is happening so fast for her. Though Kendall is currently the highest paid top model, there is a lot of controversy on how exactly she got to being the top model. A lot of people believe that Kendall does not take her modeling seriously. And there are even some former episodes of Kim. Ex so many have accused Kendall of only being able to be a model due to her having a famous family, aka being a nepotism baby. So in the Keeping Up With Kardashian series finale reunion, Kendall decided to speak about many people saying that she did not have to work hard for her career and everything was handed to her. Going against the truth that Kendall is a nepotism baby, Kendall said that she had to actually work harder due to having a famous family and people did not take this lightly. Yeah, this is true, but I don't think Kendall works hard at all though. Like, although she's like the highest paid model because of her name and nepotism, I think people are overall pretty disappointed with the content she puts out with major brands and all of the shoots she does. And also I feel like she has the lowest net worth of her entire family. Someone can check me on that though. In an interview that Kendall did with Love Magazine, she talked about how she kind of cherry picks whenever she does a modeling gig. Kendall said this in quote, since the beginning, we've been super selective about what shows I would do. I was never one of those girls who would do like 30 shows a season or do whatever the F those girls do. More power to them. But I had a million jobs, not only catwalks, but everything else. The whole combination was very overwhelming and I started to freak out a little bit and needed to take a step back. Many people, especially in the fashion world, took a huge offense to what Kendall said, especially when referencing the amount of other girls that do take the 30 plus jobs that they have to take because they don't have the opportunities that Kendall Jenner has. So Victoria's Secret model named Jack Jagasiak, I hope I'm pronouncing that right, I'm so sorry if I'm not, quoted this, this makes me so angry, so disrespectful to literally 99% of people in the industry. Yes, they had to work their way up. Please get in tough with the real world. Another model by the name of Vita Sidorkina said this, maybe those quote unquote girls need to pay their bills. That's why they are doing 30 shows. No words. Those are just two of the numerous opinions that have come from other models about Kendall Jenner's comments. If you're not in tune with the modeling industry, it's a very tough job to have. Models use their blood, sweat, and tears to reach their dreams, so they have to take all these gigs just to get nearly half the opportunities that Kendall Jenner gets. And I don't even want to say half less than half. Fact is fact and Kendall was very privileged to be able to get these jobs because she was able to get in spaces that other models really couldn't. Though I don't think she had ill intent with what was said but it came off very much privileged. I know models that can barely make ends meet because they don't even get paid for fashion week. The week that is so overly promoted and seen as this huge event for everyone else that's not modeling. A lot of these models just get paid in clothes or just being able to get the opportunity to walk for that said designer. You guys know that Fashion Week's not real, right? We figured that out this week, finally. That it's like just a figment of people's imagination. Because I could go into like a thousand parts on how Fashion Week only exists in the minds of those outside looking in. But let's just start with models. No one's getting paid. None of them. In fact, I would say a majority are actually paying to walk in Fashion Week. They're paying for everything. Their flight to New York, the model apartment, the food, the Ubers, the comp cards, they give out castings. They're paying for everything. And if they are getting paid, it's in clothes or maybe like a hundred bucks if you're lucky. But after agency fees come out, you're in debt to the agency. Please, when I used to walk Fashion Week, I used to get, mm, I don't know, a t-shirt, a pat on the back and half a sandwich backstage if the other guys didn't beat me to it. It's not real. So Kendall Jenner's rep did state to page six that Kendall in fact did not mean what was said. They said this in quote to cover for Kendall. She realized the number of shows some models walk a season is closer to 80. The point was that it's their path and the more power to them. She admires their hard work and dedication. 
It's an accomplishment. So aside from Kendall's lack of gigs, a lot of people just believe Kendall is not talented enough to be the highest paid supermodel. Let's speak on Janice Dickinson. If you don't know who Janice Dickinson is, Janice Dickinson is a former supermodel from the 70s and 80s. Janice Dickinson believes that the models of today just don't have the it factor that the models in the 70s and 80s had. And she attributes this to the strength of the fact that these models today come with a large amount of money, a huge following, and just their platform as a whole. Stephanie Seymour, another huge supermodel from back in the day, she must have agreed with Janice Dickinson to some sort because she labeled today's models as the bees of the moment. And when I say B, I'm saying the curse word, okay? <laughs> and she went on to say that the models today are just completely different than they once were. So when Stephanie Seymour said this back in 2016, Kendall Jenner did seemingly come out with a response on her website saying this, being a quote unquote supermodel is a relative term. If people want to call Gigi, Gigi Hadid, and I supermodels now, it doesn't take anything away from supermodels of the past. Obviously, I have so much respect for these women but right now we're the models of this time. Significant? Maybe. Hardworking? For sure. Now I can go on and on about Kendall Jenner's modeling career and go into detail about it. If you guys want an in-depth video on that and the history of her modeling career and what other models believe about her, I could potentially do a separate video but just let me know in the comments down below. To them, Kendall is just boring and bland. It doesn't have anything to offer to the modeling industry. And of course, this is definitely subjective and it's opinionated based, but this is a huge reason why Kendall is not as popular and not as fawned over as she once was when she first began her modeling career. Now let's move on to number two and that has to do with bullying. Many people have come out about Kendall Jenner being a mean girl and they feel that Kendall isn't as nice as she may portray and a lot of this came from their personal experiences of meeting her in person but also some scenes that we've all seen on the show. Now when it comes to in-person encounters Kendall attributes her behavior to her anxiety. Now I'm not one to speak on people's mental health and what happened so I'm not even going to say that she's lying or not. I trust that she wouldn't use that as an excuse for her behavior but say that is the case people now are using clips from the show people have thought Kendall to be very mean to her little sister Kylie Jenner and also her mother Kris Jenner Kendall has been called out for seemingly making fun of her younger sister Kylie Jenner's lips saying that they're too big look at Kylie and Tyga out look at Kylie's lips <laughs> it's changed her life the lips are just lips she got a little crazy no but they changed her life they did they the lips changed life. her life okay guys sure at first right now I want her lip. You've seen them in person. When she first got it done, they were great. They were fine. They were perfect size and they looked natural. I mean, that. Well, she's also just on. grown into her face. You her know, face she made too. her eyebrows a little thicker. Yeah, you can see and it. She knows how to put on makeup. She's so. grown up, guys. Yeah. I did my makeup so fast. I'm just not feeling myself. Your lips look amazing. Really? Yeah. Kendall said they were too big yesterday. Are you talking about her lips? Mm hmm. I don't want you to get like carried away. Lips aren't permanent. I don't know why you guys are even freaking out or talking about this though. Why? No one needs anything. Everybody's beautiful. No, I think if something makes you insecure and you've been feeling that way forever, who doesn't want to look amazing? I love overlining my lips. This is how it all started. Literally, like, I just overlined my lips and everyone was wondering what I was using. You can mix the shades. We love mixing. Oh my God. It feels amazing on my skin. <laughs> it feels so good. There's yet another scene of her giving Kylie Jenner a very backhanded compliment, saying that she loved her tan, but then saying that Kylie has really big pores. And then when she noticed that there was an awkward silence, she went on to tell Kylie not to be so sensitive. It's funny. I was scared of Kendall for like the first two years I was friends with Kylie because they did not get along. Hi, Hi. 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 It's my favorite tan. The bronzer is really thick, but you have really big body pores. Does that make sense? Wait, but, but I <laughs> Your back pores? I love getting in there on your spray tans. <laughs> Don't be sensitive. But you get along when you're together, right? Most of the time. I loved your hair yesterday. I yeah. love when you're normal Kylie hair, but then you put like bangs or something. I love the bangs. Mm -hmm. We just really are different people. Are those Louis? 
Mm-hmm. What? I've never seen him in white. That's fire. We have different opinions on everything. We view everything differently. So interesting. Now, when it comes to her mother, Kris Jenner, I see it all the time now. As of recently, we've heard some things about Kris Jenner that Ray J exposed when it comes to Kim and a sex tape. But before, when Kris was in a little bit of better graces, people would get so upset that Kendall seemed to be so mean to Kris for no reason. Kris would just ask Kendall simple questions and she would act out with aggression and just be really, really passive aggressive towards her mother. You eating today? Why every time I could say like, oh my God, my nail broke and you'd say, have you eaten today? This is crazy. So why do people believe that Kendall is being such a bully towards Kylie and maybe even her mother? A lot of people attribute Kendall's bullying to being jealous of Kylie because at one point Kendall was the it girl and Kylie was the one that was kind of set on the back burner. But once Kylie used her personality and developed this huge social media persona, Kendall then fell on the back burner and Kylie surpassed her with followers by the millions. Now we don't know if that is the reason why Kendall does not like her baby sister Kylie, but that's what a lot of people believe and they attribute it to, especially when it even comes to plastic surgery. As we all know, Kylie Jenner admitted to getting lip fillers and now it's being alleged that Kendall Jenner has lip fillers and she went and copied Kylie after talking down on Kylie getting the lip fillers. Many fans on social media voiced their opinions when it came to Kendall and how she treated Kylie. Some fans believing that Kendall tries to drag Kylie down. Another fan saying that Kendall has extreme insecurities that she puts onto Kylie. Now the two sisters have admitted that they are incredibly different and Kylie even said in her show she doesn't believe that the two would even be friends if they weren't sisters. It's definitely sad to hear and sad to say but these are all speculations once again. We don't know if Kendall exactly bullies Kylie or if Kylie feels she's bullied by Kendall and we all know with editing people can look a certain way. I don't really know. We don't really know. These are just all speculations once again so don't even try to put me in that box of making things up, okay? <laughs> so the next point I'm going to make about bullying has to do with Kendall accusing models of bullying her during her shows. So back in 2014 in an In Touch issue, Kendall stated that she faced a lot of bullying from the other models due to them feeling that she took their spot on the runway. It was stated that they would do really mean and practical jokes on her, with some models even putting cigarettes in Kendall's drinks. However, some models came out saying that this was not true at all and Kendall was actually the stuck up one. People said that Kendall always got special treatment at every show, she got ready at separate times compared to the other models, and she would only hang out with the other celebrity models like Hailey Baldwin and Gigi Hadid. Once again, I'm not behind the scenes so I don't know whether this is true or not, but this was one major reason once again why Kendall Jenner is no longer as popular as she once was. Now let's get into Kendall Jenner seemingly being a pick me. So if y'all don't know what a pick me is, I'm about to show you guys what the definition that they have on Google is because I have my definition but I'm curious what they have up here. So according to Urban Dictionary, a pick me is a girl who goes out of their way to impress boys and make them seem that they're not like the other girls. So, so many people attribute Kendall to being the biggest pick me of the century. <laughs> There are a montage of clips on YouTube of Kendall being a pick me and I'm gonna try and show you guys these clips if I don't get demonetized because I just did a long video and I got demonetized and I put hours into that video but I still posted it. I still posted it because I was proud of my craft but I'm not getting demonetized again but I'm almost certain if y'all are seeing this clips we good to go. <laughs> like you're super into makeup and I'm obviously not as into makeup as you. Like I felt like you were bonding more with Kylie because she's really? like into makeup and stuff and I'm totally not. Um, I'm a weirdo. I feel like I definitely kind of have a mom bag. Like, I feel like I don't have, like, unnecessary things. I don't know how you guys do those nails and don't, like, poke an eye out. There's nothing I can't do. Like, you can't do that. I was a tomboy for a couple years, so those years I think I was more into sports and being a tomboy. I'm weird. I love my tits being out. <laughs> it's, like, one of my things. I didn't have famous people on my wall. I was obsessed with animals. I still am. Like, I'm a nerd. I'm not, like, cool like that. I barely know half the celebrities' names now. In a past life, I think I was an animal. Either a Great Dane or a Lab. Because Great Danes are, like, they have long legs and they're big and I'm big and I have long legs and they're awkward. Really? 
We're really nerdy. But yeah, people just feel that Kendall tries so hard to be different and it just makes her cringe. And one big thing that she does is just say that she's super into sports and she doesn't care to wear makeup. And while she's doing that, she tends to tear down her sister, Kylie Jenner, who clearly is into that a lot. Another thing that she does is that she always says that she's the only sister without a kid. Well, the only sibling in general that doesn't have a child yet. She just has a whole personality trait about being so different and so natural and not caring about what others think. And in today's society, everybody hates a pick me. So Kendall, if you're a pick me, let's get it together, mamas. Now, if you really like that, I'm sorry if people think this about you, but we all know pick me's do not get any love. And last, but certainly not least, I would say this is probably one of the biggest reasons why Kendall Jenner is no longer popular, though she did continue on with the career for many years after and is continuing right now, is the Pepsi commercial that she did that went against Black Lives Matter. So in this ad, there seems to be a protest where there are black people fighting for their rights and then you have a stance of police officers. Kendall then walks up to one of the police officers, gives them a Pepsi, they all seemingly unite. And this stirred up so much controversy because it basically gave the idea if you give a police officer a can of soda, they're not gonna beat you up or murder you like they've done several other times. It was a very ignorant, ignorant, ignorant ad and it was taken down by Pepsi and there was a ton of backlash and a lot of people went towards Kendall for thinking that this was okay. Now, when it came to this ad, in my personal opinion, though I thought it was incredibly tasteless, I don't expect her, a privileged white woman, to not do the ad. It would seem the most obvious if a person of color, specifically a black person, would be the one that was asked to do this ad. And they would have said something like, this is a little bit insensitive. And this is why more people of color need to be in creative spaces and being able to be on these huge campaign teams to be able to say, hey, I don't think that was really cool, but that's besides the point. Kendall also was 21. I'm 21 currently. Now, I don't think that that means that she shouldn't have known better, but I think that if you're not experiencing the same things that I currently experience, I don't expect you to be the holy grail. But after she received the backlash, she laid low. She felt really bad. She came on an episode of Keeping Up With The Kardashians in tears, speaking about the experience and saying that she didn't mean to hurt anybody's feelings and she didn't mean to be insensitive. Once again, I have been really working on not getting frustrated with other races when it comes to racism because I feel like when these things happen it's amazing if you do stand up for racism but I don't expect you to because that's just gonna make you riled up if you see that people are not doing their job or doing their part to make sure this is more of a just society. I just know I do my part as a black woman to make sure to be well informed and to make sure to fight for my people. But that's besides the point. When it comes to Kendall with this, once again, I don't think she deserved as much backlash because when it comes to you just being kind of, I don't want to call her a product, but she is just the actress. She's the one that's doing what is being said to do. She's just doing her job and she has a team behind her that tells her what to do and she probably just did it and she has a whole bunch of other campaigns and gigs to do on many other days, I'm sure. Well, who knows? Because people say she doesn't do anything, but that's besides the point. <laughs> but yeah, it was a very insensitive ad, but I don't think that she deserved to get the blame or the amount of blame that she did get. People were saying that she should get fired from so many opportunities, and I just don't think that it was needed to be taken to that extreme. I do think that she did do what she could do best, which was apologize for what happened, but yeah, that's my opinion towards that. All right, you guys, so that is the end of this video. Those are the few reasons as to why I think that Kendall Jenner is no longer popular as she once was. Now, I'm gonna be continuing in this series. I believe I'm gonna kind of put Kim and Chris together. Let me know if y'all wanna see that. And if you guys wanna see Rob, because I feel like everyone always forgets about Rob Kardashian. Do y'all wanna see Rob? Please let me know in the comments down below. Thank you guys so much for 35,000 subscribers. You guys are phenomenal and amazing. I am loving all of the support. It has just been an amazing journey. And once once again say bye bye to this bedroom we will be doing new content in a new space i'm gonna have to find my own special space in my new place um and yeah and i'm gonna try and make it more like a relaxed sit down type of setup so i'm really excited for that but i love and i appreciate you all so much thank you so so much for watching and i will see you all in my next video i love you guys bye Mwah.